Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the College Football Update for Saturday, September 26, 2020. Free college football play coming up on this report. Hey, if you've yet to take advantage of the 40% offer over at DocSports.com for the rest of the football season, check it out. Do it now. Uh, right now, you can go over to my Handicappers homepage at DocSports.com, uh, click on the rest of the season in college and pro football combined, and then a little code box is going to pop up. It's going to ask you for that code. Well, the passcode is F B season 40, all one word, FB season 40, 40% off the rest of the football season. And listen, the cool thing about DocSports.com, you don't have to purchase 20 different packages to get college football and NFL for the weekend. College football and NFL grouped together, one report, one package gets it all. This week alone, I've got eight plays, Saturday and Sunday, college football and the NFL. So again, if you want to get it 40% off for the rest of the season, click on that full season package and use the code FBSEASON40. Speaking of this week's college and pro football, I got a seven star going in college on Saturday. That's the lead play for me in college football uh, this week. And we're 40 and 24, 63% with the last 60 four top rated plays in college football seven star plays going back a couple of years now as far as the nfl six star play top sunday and it is our biggest nfl weekend so far of the first three weeks we cashed last week finished up strong with the las vegas raiders on monday we're ahead so far for the season in college football all eight plays available right now i wasn't involved in thursday's college or pro football uh, so you didn't miss out on anything from me it's all going saturday and sunday all eight plays also wanted to mention if you're watching this on friday got a five five-star matchup in Friday's second round play in PGA action. Uh, we cashed a five-star winner on Thursday with Straka over Hogue. Straka with a great uh, five-under day on Thursday. Got a new five-unit play going on Friday. And also wanted to mention that I've got a rare seven-star play in Friday night's Eastern Conference Finals clash between the Celtics and the Heat. All available at DocSports.com on my homepage. Don't forget, if you want to jump on board with that seven-star NBA play, it's Friday night, all right? And as far as college and pro football, all weekend long, Saturday and Sunday, eight plays. So there you have it. Um, and let's get to our free pick for Saturday. Oh, real quick programming note before I do that. We will have our free NFL video available Friday night for Sunday, and it'll probably be on much earlier. I'm going to try to knock that out by about 7 p.m. Pacific at the latest on Friday night. Also, Friday afternoon, Rafael Espars and I will cut our Sharps versus Squares report from this week's NFL. Uh, we'll talk about the games that have seen a difference between the Joes and the Pros, and also give you a free pick in the NFL. That, too, will be up early Friday evening over at Doc Sports. Dot com. Let's get to our free pick for Saturday. Uh, looking at the Big 12 battle, Iowa State at TCU. We're going to recommend a play on the Cyclones, laying two and a half on the road in this one. Listen, if you watched the Cyclones opener, the loss that they suffered straight up at home against UL Lafayette, you saw that they did outgain UL Lafayette, not by a lot, uh, but by about 40 or 50 yards thereabouts. And what they did was mistake their way into a loss. If you saw the game, you saw that they allowed a kickoff return for a touchdown, a punt return for a touchdown. They turned the ball over two times. But if you look at what the defense did, they gave up about an 80-yard pass, a little bit less than that, 78, 79-yard pass for a touchdown. Other than that, they gave up less than 80 yards passing for the entire game altogether. Uh, they just made dumb mistakes. I mean, you would think at this point that Brock Purdy wouldn't have made those kind of mistakes that he made in that particular game against UL Lafayette. I think they rebound here. Uh, they have a good coaching matchup between themselves and Gary Patterson's crew. We've seen that in recent years. We saw Iowa State whip TCU last year. I don't expect a wide margin win here. Uh, but I do power rate Iowa State 4.5 points better than TCU at this juncture on this field. So we got a couple of points of cushion. And also, man, Gary Patterson, let's just call it what it is. He has been a go against, against the spread over the past couple of campaigns. And listen, if you've been going against him, your bankroll has been doing well. So it's, a, it's just a situation, folks, where... When I look at what Iowa State did, it was a fluke that they lost that game, and they made dumb mistakes, and I think they get it back together against TCU on Saturday. So, recommended to play Iowa State, minus the two and a half over TCU. Don't forget my NFL video will be up Friday night for Saturday and Sunday, and also uh, don't forget about those eight plays in college and pro football, Saturday and Sunday, including the seven star, including the six star, NBA Friday night, seven star. If you're watching this on Friday afternoon, still to go. So there you have it. All right, listen, uh, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritz or DocSports.com.